to my channel my name is Kiki and this is Kiki's Chronicles if you are a subscriber thank you for subscribing if you have not yet welcome and go on and click that subscription button like comment and subscribe so what's on the agenda today I was driving home from work and I was just having a moment of reflection from my day had a really good day today i had the opportunity to facilitate a group regarding uh, youth mental health first aid to a group of professionals at a school and it was so rewarding we had such a good time and i was just thinking about how much i really enjoyed my career I've had some really good experiences in the field of social work and I wanted to share that um, a lot of people when they hear of a social worker they think about all oh, the people that take the kids but there's so much more that uh, the field of social work entails so I am a licensed clinical social worker and I've been in the field of social work for well over 10 years and it has been quite an experience. I've enjoyed the process and the growth, the experiences I've had as a social worker. Uh, I, I wanted to share this because there are quite a few people out there in this world still kind of undecided. You have young people that are going off to college and they are having to decide what career path they want to choose. We also have adults who are not happy with the current career path that they're in and may be considering another occupation, career. So yeah, I'm here to provide some insight into the field of social work from my experience. So. I'll just tell you a little bit about my journey to becoming a social worker. When I was in high school, completing college applications, I initially chose the major of nursing. So you know you have to complete admission applications prior to starting college. So I, I knew that my personality would be great for a helping profession. And so I just automatically say okay i want to be a nurse i want to pursue the field of nursing well as you can see i've stated i'm not a nurse so that changed right <laughs> i had a life experience that kind of helped shape um, and mold and direct my decision into becoming a social worker so in high school the 12 my 12th grade year i became pregnant and uh, to make a long story short my six month pregnancy I had and delivered a stillborn and so within that process uh, I had to go to the hospital of course and I was given a social worker so this person assisted me throughout my journey at the hospital okay I'm young 18 year old well, no, I wasn't 18 yet. I was 17, 17, because this happened in January. My birthday is in February. So I was 17 at the time. Oh my gosh, it was such a traumatic experience having to give birth to a baby you've connected with in the womb for six months who's no longer alive. Wow, that was devastating at 17 years old. I had family members and my family there supporting me. And I had this social worker at the hospital who came to, to check on me, to make sure I was okay, to kind of explain the process of what to expect and provide me various resources. So that's when the initial thought, the initial seed was planted in my head for social work. So I, I graduated school. And I went on to college. My freshman year, I began to like consider, do you really want to be a nurse? Because I don't do well with bodily fluids and all of that. So I was like, nah, 
mm -mm, you probably want to choose another major because as a nurse, you know, that's pretty much uh, a major part of your requirements and your job duty. So again, I always knew I wanted to to help others. I always had a heart for people that were in situations, vulnerable situations that were less fortunate. And so I began to do some research and to find out more about social work. And when I read it, I was like, oh, wow, this sounds like something I want to do. Not knowing, not realizing how all of the pieces were beginning to align together and my purpose for being and my mission in life was starting to evolve, right? So I, I looked up the definition and I, I saw all of you know, the descriptions out there and the possible job opportunities. And I was like, okay. And, and then I remembered that social worker from the hospital. And I was like, I want to help someone like that in a situation like that. So I changed my major and I completed the bachelor's program in four years. And I went on to the master's advanced standing clinical program at the university that I attended. So it took me a year and a half to finish that. And I've been going ever since. My internship for my bachelor's was at the state attorney's office as a victim advocate, while my master's internship was for a community agency providing dependency case management. My first official paid position as a social worker was a family health advocate. As a family health advocate, I provided interconceptional care for women between the ages of 14 and 44. So that's care before, during, and after pregnancies. And so the, the goal of that agency was to reduce infant mortality rates. Mm -hmm. Have you been paying attention? So I had personal experience with infant mortality years before. At that time, I had no idea that I would be in a field and in a career, a job that I could help people who experience something similar to what I experienced when I uh, my I lost my baby. So it was like coming around full circle. And I was like, okay, God, I see you. I see what you're doing. So I stayed there. I provided case management, psychotherapy, and peer support groups. Those groups were held at the local jails, schools, and community centers. It was a really good experience. It was so rewarding. You see the young ladies like learning life skills and and ending those dysfunctional cycles and patterns that they learn throughout their lives and um, that's been like ooh, many many years ago but a couple months ago um, just being able to see people that you assisted in their journey and it was just like thank you so much i i learned so much you helped me so much in my life and now i have a job i have a house i'm doing well like it's so rewarding and it, it builds up your motivation and your drive in careers like this that you can see that you are making a difference in people's lives like i take I take my job so seriously because I know this is not just a career for me, but it is my purpose in life. This God has uh, assigned a mission in my life of help, of service unto others. And so I take what I do very, very seriously. And I know I am purpose for this, right? So when you're considering fields and, and jobs, possible career path, you want to think about something you're passionate about, something you don't mind waking up in the morning to get up, to go to work, to drive and, and experience whatever you have to face for that day, giving it your all, even when you're not really feeling the best. But if you're passionate about it, you'll give it your all. So again, uh, that was my first job. My next job, was as a school counselor for a school 
grades pre-k 3 to 12. so every day i had the opportunity to help young people the staff i was a part of the administration team and it was so 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 rewarding like i loved the kiddos and built amazing lifelong relationships with them seeing them progress and mature and matriculate through school to go on to college to be successful to to now have a life as a young adult it is so amazing and some of those kids they come back to see me and and check in with me and to let me know you know how much they care about me and it just makes my heart smile i love them to you know to pieces and so i was a school counselor for five years and then another opportunity in social work opened up. Yes, so I was offered a position as the LCSW, the licensed clinical social worker, for I supervise some grant. other MSWs. And our overall goal is to improve school climate. And so we go about working with those schools to, to do that, providing mental health counseling, advising, uh, professional development opportunities and things of that nature. I love what I do so much so that I opened my own private practice. So within my private practice, I serve ages 6 to 24. My services are psychotherapy, individual or family therapy. I offer academic advising and consultation and workshops for businesses, churches, community organizations on whatever they need regarding mental health. So I have been very blessed to be able to serve others in that capacity. And guess what? I create my own schedule. I um, work in my private practice part-time because as I stated, I have a full-time job and of course you have to have some balance between work and your life and I plan to talk about that on, on, on another video work life balance a lot of people struggle with that but that's for another time and so it's been going great so far I've had several clients that I've been able to see and support, several workshops and opportunities to present for uh, corporations. So I'm very blessed in doing that. So as I stated initially, social work is a great field to consider. If you are passionate about advocating for others, making a difference, you know, changing policy, things of that nature, and you want to help people that are in vulnerable situations, you can work from places, from hospitals to schools to community agencies. You can be an entrepreneur. There are so many areas and places that you can find a social worker. You're not limited. So many populations, from kids to geriatrics to adults with mental health illnesses. There's just so much you can do in the field of social, oh, social workers that I've come in contact with. They usually have a story, a journey, a path that they took that led them to social work. And so that makes the work even more um, even more rewarding because you know you pan it forward you know what it's like to be in certain situations and so you can empathize with your clients and help them to get into a better situation so I encourage you to do your research if you you're not sure of what path you want to take as far as your career and this feel social work sounds like something that you could possibly succeed in if you are your people's person and you have a heart for others you enjoy serving others and you want to see others 
be their best selves, then social work could be a good fit for you. So give it some thought and um, you can drop me some questions if you may have any in the comments and I'll be sure to respond. So thank you for watching and remember to live, love, and laugh.